Hello children, how are you all today? Hope you all are doing great. Welcome to Learning Birds Hive channel. So today I am here with one more interesting topic that is nouns. So are you ready? Watch the video till the end and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Shall we start? Yes. So children, today in this video I would be teaching you the definition of a noun and types of noun and where to use nouns how to use nouns so ready yes so let's see the definition of a noun children noun is a word noun is a word it is a word which tells the name of a person animal place and thing i repeat children please repeat after me okay noun is a word which tells the name of a person animal place and thing we call it noun let's see few examples of it first we will see the examples of person person means girl boy father mother doctor police all these comes under person and what are the examples of animals cat dog lion tiger rabbit cow all these are examples of animals now examples of place school playground park saloon college mumbai hyderabad all these are the examples of place now what is next things what are the examples of things let's see things children that we use regularly like book pen pencil eraser cell phone laptop all these comes under things now children you know nouns are divided into five types nouns are divided into five types what are they first one is proper noun common noun collective noun material noun abstract noun i repeat children proper noun common noun collective noun material noun abstract noun so children here first one is proper noun proper noun is nothing but proper name the name of a the name means the specific name of a person animal place and thing we call it proper noun so proper noun is nothing but the specific name of a person animal place thing now let's see few examples of proper noun teja is an intelligent boy teja is an intelligent boy here teja is a 
specific name specific name of a person now hyderabad is a big city hyderabad is a big city now hyderabad is a specific name of a place children proper noun is also known as proper name a specific name okay next comes common noun common noun means the name of a person animal place thing which is not specific in proper noun we are using the specific nouns here we are not using the specific names the name of a person animal place thing which is not specific the common names are used in common nouns a very regular names are used in the common noun a very common noun let's see few examples birds fly in the sky birds fly in the sky here bird is a very common name next one is people love to live in the city people love to live in the city people that is also a very common name so after this comes collective noun collective noun is nothing but the name of a collective person animal place thing collective means what group of a person place and animal thing we call it collective noun the name of a collective person animal place and thing can be called as collective noun and the examples here are our team played very well our team played very well team is a collective name of a person our class got the first place our class got the first place class is also name of a person these are the example of collective nouns after this comes material noun material noun is nothing but the name of a substance or a material substance or a material with which the things can be made the name of a material or a substance with which the things can be made are called material nouns like for example gold silver platinum wood etc let's see the examples gold is precious than silver gold is precious than silver this door is made of wood
This door is made of wood. These are the examples of material noun. Next, next is abstract noun. Abstract noun is nothing but name of an idea, quality, simplicity, victory, death, feelings all comes under abstract noun. Feelings means death, victory, happiness, everything comes. Abstract noun is nothing but the name of an idea, quality, simplicity and feelings. We call abstract noun. For example, people loved Gandhiji for his simplicity. And the next example is Indians welcomed cricketers after the victory. Indians welcomed cricketers after the victory. So children, these are the different types of nouns. So we have learned all five types of nouns. I hope you all understood the types of nouns. Now I am going to tell you a very 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 important thing that is nouns are of countable and uncountable. Nouns can be countable and uncountable. The nouns that can be counted, countable are called countable nouns. Like for example, girls, boys, goats, sheep, etc. Whereas uncountable nouns, the nouns that cannot be counted, the nouns that are uncountable are called uncountable nouns, which we cannot count. Examples are water, oil, fire, sugar. Children, can we count water, oil, fire, sugar? Very difficult. We cannot count all these things. So, we call them uncountable nouns. And here you have to remember the most important thing that is countable nouns can have the plural forms. Countable nouns can have the plural forms. Whereas uncountable nouns remain same. Like for example, I will tell you. Countable nouns, if you take girl, we can write girls. The plural form of girl is girls. Man, men. Boy, boys. In the same way, for uncountable nouns, we cannot add plural forms. When we are saying water, the plural form remains the same. Water, oil, oil. No matter how much the quantity is, but the Plural form here is not applicable. Water, we say water only. For oil, we use oil. Okay, fire, fire. That's all children. I hope you all like the video. If you all like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.